this is Nidhi Arora with CoinGeek Backstage. I'm here with Steve Lawrence, the president of EHR Data. How are you doing today, Steve? I'm doing great. Thanks for having us. This has been a wonderful venue and a good turnout. Tell us about yourself and your role at your company and the products and services EHR Data offers. So I've been in healthcare all my life. My brother and I have started a pharmacy software company many years ago, and then I worked for Cardinal Health for many years. And our founder at EHR Data recruited me about a year ago to try to turn his vision into some reality and his vision was to create a global patient record and so we've got some great developers we're a spin-off of his uh, main company that was in healthcare for 40 years and so we've got some great healthcare developers and we're going to make his dream come true and create a global patient record and give people control over their healthcare data that sounds exciting. So I know EHR Data uses BSV blockchain to incentivize healthcare and lower the cost and protect the patient's data. So what are the real challenges that it wants to address or it is facing at the moment? Yeah, so I mean the real challenge um, as we all see it as consumers of healthcare is that we don't have our data and our providers that are taking care of us don't have the data. So our goal is to collect that data and the BSV blockchain is critical because the size of healthcare data, I give a lot of people I tell that just last year there were six billion scripts written in the United States alone. And so if you think about collecting healthcare data and trying to write that to a blockchain, you couldn't write that kind of data to any blockchain but BSV with the scalability and the low fees. And so that's the critical piece is the scalability of low fees, the immutability of it. And then obviously there's a huge incentive for payers who are going at risk with patients to get the patients to live healthier lives. I mean, if they can keep the patient out of the emergency room, it's a $600 savings to them every time that happens. And so they can incent them, but today there's not an easy way to incent, obviously. So with micropayments at a low cost, it's a perfect solution to incent patients for better behavior. Has the COVID-19 pandemic made it any more challenging for EHR data to address these problems? Uh, not really. I think the COVID pandemic has probably helped bring this issue to light, that people understand that they really don't have the data they need. I mean, you see it here in New York. If you don't have your vaccine card, you can't go into a building. You may have already had the shot, but you need proof of it. And so being able to have that and not just have your physicians and your pharmacists have that is critical. So it's actually helped open people's eyes and I think it'll make our, our path a lot easier. Very good. And I know that EHR Data was at CoinGeek Zurich and now you are at CoinGeek New York. So what is the update since the last conference? Yeah, so CoinGeek Zurich, we had just become a company. And obviously with what we're building, we've built a hierarchical database where the patient's at the top. We have a very sophisticated clinical rules engine and we have a mobile app for the patient. And so we had to lay down a lot of code between Zurich and now. We're about a month or two from commercialization. And so we're real excited by hopefully the next CoinGeek in March that we'll have it out in the market, have some clients and have some testimonials. It'll be really fun to see. Congratulations. And my last question to you would be, if there was one general takeaway from people seeing you and your team at CoinGeek New York, what would that be? Um, I would say that as a consumers of healthcare, every person here, every person watching really needs to understand that they need to own their data. You know, right now you can go ask your physician for it and they'll give you a stack of papers about this big that does you no good. So we're enabling you to get your data digitally and be able to keep it and hopefully someday be able to monetize it. And so I would just ask people to keep us in mind, keep thinking about the ownership of data and someday we'll come to them with a an app where they can have control of data and take it to new physicians that they see with their entire record and be able to monetize it. It'd be a, a wonderful thing for everybody. Thank you so much for your time, Steve. I really appreciate it. This is CoinGeek Backstage, Nidhi Arora.
Bitcoin mining, Bitcoin wallet, blockchain, stablecoins, Metanet, the evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.